Hello to everybody. In this video, uh, I'm going to, to teach you how to do model analysis using HyperMesh and Abacus for a automotive brake uh, break pad. Uh, this is very useful for squeal analysis. Uh, so uh, the assembly will be the lining material, orange one, the backplate, made of uh, steel and the lining material will be a generic lining material defined by engineering engineering constants. So at the end we'll, we'll get uh, natural frequencies and the mold shapes. So in not in this video but in future videos I would like to do a test correlation with hyper uh, hip hyper study creating a DOE. So yeah I will add it uh, in the future. So but in this video let's do uh, model analysis. So let, let's start now uh, going to hypermesh. I'm going to use hypermesh for using for doing the the mesh and set the tie contact between backplate and lining material. So let's start uh, importing the first the CAD. CAD uh, will be done with Katia. So I got it ready now. So let's go through. This analysis is all this model analysis is also called free free analysis. It's just the analysis to get the natural frequencies. Oh, just Okay. Okay, so the cards are loaded. Let's start doing the <coughs> sorry, the mesh. First of all, I'm going to do the manual. Well, I'm going to do a, a, a manual meshing with the command auto mesh. First of all, will be a 2D mesh, and we'll complete the mesh with 3D tetra mesh. Okay. So this tetra mesh will be. I want to be the second order elements. So let's do it mesh. Selecting the, the surfaces, I would like to do two with our trias, two millimeters with our trias. Okay. Okay. So can do the 3D mesh now. So 3D tetra mesh, selecting component, split quads, quads into triads. Although we don't have any quad in this mesh, and create per volume component mesh. Okay, so here we have a new component. We can isolate and change the name. Uh, rename, upgrade. So quickly we go to the lining and do the same process again. Auto mesh. I'm not doing all the auto mesh in one go because I would like to choose our trias again. Top and bottom, I use trias. Okay, the 2D mesh is done, so we quickly go to tetra mesh, the 3D tetra mesh. Again, OK. 
Okay. So now our assembly is meshed. So what I want to do now is quickly go to tool, tools, contact manager and define the contact surfaces. I need to define these two contact surfaces to define at the end an interface which will be a tie contact. So this will be backplate surface, create, select the elements, Okay, so this surface, the backplate contact surface has been selected, all the elements have been selected. And now I'll do the same with the lining material surface. I'm going to change the color, create a height backplate on the backplate surface. Sorry. Attached, proceed, select the face in contact with the back plate. Add. Okay, everything we are doing here, we can do it with, with Abacus, but for me, in this particular case, it's easier to do it with Hypermesh because I'm used to do it with Hypermesh, but if you feel more comfortable with Abacus, you can do it with, with Abacus with no problem. So we can create the tie contact now, selecting the surfaces we have generated. So slay will be the back plate and the lining surface will be the master, although it doesn't matter in this particular case which one is slave or master, we have a higher uh, elements uh, surface uh, that in the, for this case will be the master, okay, but it doesn't matter to be honest in this particular case which one. Okay, so the tie contact is defined, we can review it. Mm. Oh, what's going on? Okay, yeah, because we need to select tie here, review. Okay, so we can check. Okay. So we've got the mesh, we've got the contact definition. I want to show it. And another thing I want to do is to create a reference uh, system of coordinates because as the lining material will be orthotropic and will be, will be defined by engineering constants, I need to define a local, uh, a local uh, system of coordinates. To do so, I need to create uh, some nodes per to help me to help me to define the system of coordinates. So let's create one few nodes. Okay. Okay, all done. So now I'm going to create the system of coordinates by axis direction nodes here. The origin will be this one. Set axis the perpendicular to the plane. Uh, y, Z plane. Okay. So create. I'm going to. Okay. 
this is our system coordinates so to use this system of coordinates I need to create to edit the card of it select it clicking orientation name will be lining orientation okay so we can return so now we can delete it to the mesh yes change the name to lining okay so we have contact surfaces uh, system of coordinates uh, mesh I want to quickly go to order change well element types first I want to use tetra mesh this type one so order change I would like to change the second order elements so everything change order yeah so we can check the element types again view yeah it's fine so I'm gonna export yeah what is this plate yes so now an input file is generated so I would like to open it and edit Check. Yeah, backplate component, lining component. So yeah, at this point I would like to do a few things. First of all, I would like to define the material. I would like to create the solid sections and uh, assign the orientation to the lining material to the lining components. So. First of all, I'm going to copy from another input file. I'm going to copy the steel and lining material properties and paste it in this. So, yeah, we have the steel material now. We have density defined by Jaume Modulus uh, Poisson Ratio. And we have here the lining material defined by its density uh, and engineering constants. Uh, yeah. These three are the young modulus in every direction, three directions, Poisson ratio in three directions, and the shear modulus in the three planes. Okay, so quickly we go to solid section define definition. So again, I'm going to copy and paste. You can do it with Abacus. It's easier for me to do it this way because it's just, oh, sorry. It's just copy and paste. yeah so just make sure names are correct first solid section backplate a material steel second solid section is lining lining orientation yeah and lining material yeah okay so everything is correct so let's save it and import to abacus to define the step file import uh, model we go to property we can double check material are created sections are created and property properties are created again yeah so yeah, for me it's easier to do it this way, but you can do it by defining step-by-step -step, uh, material. So if we go quickly go to step, I'm going to define step uh, frequency, modal analysis, better. OK, 
Okay, this will be a linear perturbation frequency. Uh, we leave everything as default, but we are going to define the minimum frequency of interest, 500 hertz, and maximum frequency will be, for the, this case, 8000 hertz. Okay. So this is, this is a model analysis, uh, free free analysis. Uh, to get the natural frequencies, we don't need to create any load, any boundary condition. It's fine like this. We want just the boundary conditions and the mode shapes. So if we go to job, manager, create, pro, yep, mesh. Okay. Submit. Okay, so the job is completed. To see the natural frequencies, we go to results, visualize the mode shapes. So, so step frame, here we have all the modes identified. Okay. And the natural frequency is in cycles, cycles per time. Go to here, can visualize, can edit to hide the elements. And click, can edit the options, animation options. On full cycle, yeah. So yes, this one is natural. Oh, sorry. Yeah, first mode lateral bending. Okay, second mode. Change it. This mode this icon sorry third mode show Okay, so yeah, that's all. We have the natural frequencies, have the mode shapes, so the exercise is done. In next video, uh, as I said before, in next videos, I would like to show you how to correlate material data to correlate the natural frequencies and mode shapes. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and see you later.